Hello YouTube, Steel Finite here. Today we're back with another editing tutorial, and we'll be learning about different shakes and how to manipulate presets for your editing needs. So right here, I have a clip already made. It has um, it has layers, um, filters, it has all the things you need except for transitions, and mainly those gonna work with shakes as we're gonna be learning this video. And with that, we're going to be going to these little pictures for practicing. So with these, we're going to be learning how to use S underscore shake from the Sapphire plugins and what you need to do to have different effects for changing wise. So let's get started. So you're going to right click, get a new adjustment layer, and put that in. So since this is our only place we're going to change, we're only going to take out the part that's not affecting this, okay? So we'll go to before, we're gonna do Control Shift D, take that out, and go after, Control Shift D, and Control X or just delete button, any of those work. Now let's add the shake, or highlight, and then add the shake. So we're gonna put motion blur on, and you're gonna see when we start this video, it's gonna be all shaky and stuff. And it's not really a transition, is it? It's just a picture moving back and forth a whole lot. So, um, what's happening here is that it's a combination of two things called frequency and amplitude. Amplitude um, dictates how far your image can stretch away from the, um, from the center point. So you see this is going to be jumping a lot farther than it used to be when it was at 1. So let's see at 4. Let's try it with the motion blur and see how that looks. It's very jumpy, it's going all over the place. And I bet it could look even, you can even sell even more. Oh, that doesn't really affect anything, okay. I'll put that back. Alright, so with that, you see how it jumps all over the place. So let's put back to one. Motion blur back on. And it's jumping as far. Now, frequency affects the speed of how rapid the guys move, okay? So we take this out to 0.3. It's going very slowly. And if you see some like YouTube commentators or um people will pull up images when they're spectating or commenting or something, they might have a slow shake to make things a little more interesting to view or just spice things up. But for us, we're going to take this way up, speed it way up, because this, this is a transition. It's going from one picture to another. So now it's all crazy and stuff. So, um, let's see gun here. We're going to take these little things, amplify amplitude and frequency and we're going to go down and keyframe it and how do you do that you get on here so we're going to go to effects we find a shake there and we have these two things now when we're making a transition we don't want to um we don't want to change the frequency frequency stays we want it to be as jumpy as possible but with the amplitude since we control how far and small it goes, that's what we'll use to turn it on and off and make it smoother as we go on. So at the center point, right when we change pictures, it's going to be at its most volatile point at one amplitude. Let's slowly go out, take it to one, keyframe that, out, and do that. Once you click the keyframe button right here, once anything, any change you'll do outside will make a keyframe automatically, so don't worry. So there we go, and there we go. Let's try it. Let's see how it looks now. Okay, that's pretty cool. It um, it doesn't look a transition; it just turns on and off slowly, whereas it used to be just on off. Let's see in one. So I mean, like. 
that's an okay transition, I guess. I mean, if you're just starting out. But we want to make it have more of a oomph to it. Let's say we're doing it on a beat of something. So we're going to change that up with ease. Easy ease, that's what it's called. So what you do is you get your cursor outside it, you hold it, drag it over all three dots, and you're going to click F9. Then, I highly recommend you don't go to the bar graph with this highlighted because then you get all this jumbo jargon. Not very fun. So you just click outside it. Click outside of it. Make sure you're not highlighting anything. Click the graph. There's nothing here. Click amplitude. Boom. You got it. So, as you see, when it starts and stops, it's a little hump. Alright. So let's change that now. So we're gonna make this grow into the effect, into the center. And we'll see how that looks. All right, let's see. It's pretty cool. So it wasn't very long, the whole effect. So if we wanted to change this, if I wanted to change this myself, I would have made the effect longer. So I'm gonna drag these out longer. Like these little ends where we started and stopped. Let's make that out. Now we're gonna grab this thing. We're gonna pull it up. Pull that up. Make sure it's still jagged in. Tuck them in the little corners. I'll try it again. Okay, so it's a lot slower now. So let's try pulling these things way down and see what that does. Okay, that is a really quick effect and it barely does any change. So when deciding where to have a longer or short effect, you decide on the duration and how steep the slope is because this slope represents from zero to one. So. I say that's a pretty good slope right there. Having like 24 to 25, that's about a second long. And then having the corners about this slope. You don't want a perfect curve or else it looks weird. You have all your effect going all at once and you'll barely see the transition and the defeats the purpose. But you don't want it too long to where it seems like you're building up something and it's just one of the main transitions you'll have. So, that's what we'll do. There we go. Now, because we made this on an adjustment layer, this thing affects anything below it. So, let's go over to our actual, trans actual edit we're going to do. And let's find a place where we're going to do it. Let's do it here, Spite, I'm just for fun. So we'll control C, control V. We have a copy of it. And let's bring it down so you can see the little bar, see the little dots. Actually change anything. Let's we'll see how it looks now. go. That's pretty cool. Alright, now let's continue on. So, I want to do a different effect. Um, we'll be putting a lot of different shakes in here, and I'll show you what, how you can use the different, like, fastness or slowness for different effects, but, um, next one I want to do is, like, a, um, Let's do a uh, right here. Let's just start from new. So we'll do an adjustment layer. Bada boom. Cut out the edges. And cut that out. So, right here. 
we're going to add a different effect. So, I believe last episode I offered, if you gave me your Discord in the description, I mean in the comment section, I would have given you these effects. Um, I'm still up to that. Just send me a Discord down below and have them. So, let's say you want to do a zoom out. I think that'll work well right here. So, um, motion tile is kind of good, but you have to make sure that the center of the tile is not messed up. These numbers should be 960 by 540. So let's change that now. 960 by 540. And I believe that's just a bug with the effects I've been given. So each time you have motion tile with this pack, you have to change that. 960 to 540. Um, that's what you need to know. So we'll work on that. And I believe this effect should not be a um, should not be a problem. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm in the wrong one. Alright. This one. Um generally between the middle section is where the effect actually happens, so I personally am going to put that right and change. Let's try that. All right. Now, um, earlier here, I was going to tell you how to change presets for your editing needs. So let's show you how to do that. So let's say you have a really fast beat and you're about to go to another one. So you need the effect to be shorter in general. This is how you can change that. So what you do is you select all of these little dots that you have. You're going to Alt. I believe you're doing Alt and you're going to drag them all. Once you click Alt, basically, they're all gonna to go to one point, either this end or this end, depending on where you pull. So let's say I click Alt. I'm holding down Alt the whole time and I click on this and I drag it in. It's all going to go to this one right here. So Alt, click, pull. And I can do the same to the other side. Alt, click, pull. And so I can make this effect faster. Let's try it again. And there, that actually works to be better than when we had it like this. Let me pull this out. So I think that one was actually better with the faster bit. So we're gonna actually do that. All right, and that's how you can change your effect for editing needs. Um. Yeah, so let me go ahead and finish up this edit. I will be back when I put all the other shakes and whatever in. Actually, no, I'm going to stay. Change the plans. So this is the other type of shake I was wanting to show you. So besides using a shake for like um, transitions, I like to add shakes for the like, um, like effect. So I'm not changing. I'm not changing scenes on this little tin place marker right here, but I wanted to add a shake here, so I marked it off. So we're gonna pull a different one, and we're gonna drag it to tin. All right. So you saw that was kind of a long time for just that little quick tin right there. We're going to shorten it up, same way we did all the others. So Alt, hold, bring in, and so that. There we go. Now, I will be back once I'm done with all the others. Thoughts get thrown around, but we keep going.
up for this episode if you uh liked or you want to subscribe please do so um i really need i really need ideas in the comment section about what you want to learn from me about these editing tutorials i tried to do a gaming montage tutorial thing a couple months ago and it don't work out but i have a lot of views from two videos that i did about nude edit slash instagram so i really want to capitalize on that so Send me your ideas, thank you for watching, and goodbye.